I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll develop a recursion formula for binomial distribution. So we have a standard formula that is whenever we want to find a probability of x successes from N. Bernoulli's trial the formula for finding x successes from N. Bernoulli's trial is probability capital X equals to x is equal to N C x p to the power of x q to the power of N minus x where N is because a number of trials P is probability of success in each trial capital X is the random variable which can have real values like 0, 1, 2, 3 and it gives you number of successes. Let me write number of successes in n trials. Okay, so all these terms are defined. So what you really see is that the probability of number of successes in n trials is really dependent on two things. One is the number of trials and the other one is the probability of success in each trial. Right? So therefore, in general, we also write this as in two parameters in a binomial distribution as n comma b. Right? So that is the reason. So these two are the parameters and based on this we can find probability of any number of successes in binomial distribution. Is that okay? So when we say n Bernoulli trials, I hope you remember that means uh, that means what? Okay, that means a couple of things. That is, uh, each trial is independent. So we're talking about independent trials, right? Where outcome is success or failure. Is it okay? And the value of p, which is probability this p small p is constant does not change right so basically these are the constraints on n all the trials they are all similar trials is that okay now we are very familiar with this formula now that probability for n number of successes i mean x number of successes out of n trials is given by n c x p to the power of x times q to the power of n minus x. Now when you observe that this formula is basically dependent on p and n and q, q you know is is actually equals to is related with p I could have written q as 1 minus p is that okay. So q is basically related to p so it's only dependent on these two parameters. So based on these two parameters we can actually develop the whole binomial distribution is that okay. So in this exercise, what we will do is that if we know the probability for, let us say, n number of successes, what will be the probability of n plus 1 success? That is what we want to uh, figure out. So we have a formula for p of x. Let me write it as uh, p of x as equal to, that this is small x, right? n c x p to the power of x q to the power of n minus x. In that case, probability of x plus 1 will be what? So uh, let us say if x values 5, we have this formula for 5, what will be the probability for 6 successes? So x increases by 1, the formula changes a bit. We have to just replace x with x plus 1, right? So we have that as the formula for x plus 1 successes. Is it okay? 
so minus of x means minus 1 is that okay so we get for x plus 1 successes that formula for binomial distribution now we'll find the ratio of these two that is probability of x plus 1 divided by probability of x successes these are the number of successes okay so that is the ratio of these two so we'll write this as nc x plus 1 p to the power of x plus 1 u to the power of n minus x minus 1 divided by ncx p to the power of x u to the power of n minus x correct now uh, let's write down the formula for nc cx plus 1 what is that so that is n factorial divided by x plus 1 factorial times n minus x minus 1 factor is it okay so that is n c x plus 1 right and now we'll write the numerator first we have p to the power of x plus 1 q to the power of n minus x minus 1 divided by and here we have this term so first let me write these two terms which is p to the power of x q to the power of n minus x and now i'm writing n c x which is n factorial over x factorial times n minus x factorial correct so that is the expansion of this now we can simplify it right so let's see how to simplify it now n factorial and n factorial cancel out p to the power of x plus 1 divided by p to the power of x will give us p in the numerator q to the power of n minus x minus 1 gives me q to the power of minus 1 here, right? Okay. Now, these factorial terms. When I say x factorial, it means x times x plus 1 factorial, correct? So, so, so from this part, we are left with x in the numerator. Is that okay? Because it is x times x plus, I'm sorry, x plus 1 is x plus 1 times x factorial so so we will be left with I'm sorry this part right so okay so we'll get x plus 1 here right. this could be written as uh, x times x plus 1 factorial x plus 1 times x let me write that okay so we'll rewrite this instead of creating confusion at this stage okay so this x plus 1 factorial will be x plus 1 times x factorial is it okay oh, okay that's good now similarly, we'll write this term as such, which is uh, n minus x minus 1 factorial. And here in the numerator, we have x factorial. So, okay, we x factorial and let me extend n minus x. We could write this as n minus x times n minus x minus 1. Is that okay? That should be better. Now. So now it's obvious what we can cancel out. So x factorial can cancel out and this can also cancel out, correct? So we are left with p divided by q. They are lowercase, q is one minus p. And the numerator, we have n minus x. And in the denominator, we have x plus one. Is it okay? So normally we write the numbers first these are basically numbers right so now we can summarize the formula so we have all this all this is equals to the ratio of probability of x plus 1 successes divided by probability of x successes do you get an idea right so so you can see we have developed a formula and the formula very clearly is let me rewrite the formula here probability for x plus 1 successes divided by probability of x successes is equals to n minus x divided by x plus 1 times p over q. Okay, So that is a recurring formula. If we know, let us say p0, probability of 0 successes, we can find p1, right? So, so let's apply it. Why not? If I say x equals to 0, right? That means what? So we have probability of 1 over probability of 0 equals 2. If I am writing x as 0, I get n over 1 times p over q. 
Is it okay? So that is to say that probability for one success is equals to n times p divided by q times probability of zero success. Now what is the probability of zero success? That is n times p divided by q and zero successes that means no success and all are so in n trials we do not get any success so there will be q to the power of n right so that is the probability of zero success and that gives you n p so we can write this as equal to n p q to the power of n minus 1 do you see that so so from the probability of zero success we get probability of one success and using this formula we can find probability of two successes and so on and that's the reason why we call it a recursion formula do you see that so using this formula we can find all the values i hope you find it very useful it is indeed very useful i'm al kumar you can share and subscribe my videos go through this video understand the concept and for different questions which you have de de done and developed that binomial distribution, check your answer using this formula, whether it works or not. Thank you and all the best.